What's up everyone, and welcome into my first and maybe only challenge run, since apparently I have nothing better to do. So today, I will be beating Pokemon Solar with only a sob. Now, I know there's probably someone else who's already done this, but this is my version, so enjoy. Sob stats aren't exactly what you would think a base stage starter would have. Um, it's good in one area, being special attack, and it has like some decent speed, but not great. And I do have some options for coverage with TMs and TRs. Let's go over the rules. One, I can only use Sobble in battle. Two, no glitches. And three, I cannot use items in battle excluding held items like leftovers or a berry. Now, let's get into this. Thankfully, Sobble is a starter, so I can get him immediately to our start of our run, and I don't nickname him because I'm a heartless monster. Now it's time to fight Hop and beat him with relative ease because they made rivals too easy in current day games because they always give them the weaker starter for some reason. And head to Sumbering Well to reunite Charizard with his lost love. Now we head to meet the lovely Sonya and her grandmother, and then we're in another battle with Hop, and once again, we win even easier this time i'm sensing a pattern here time to head to the wild area with our best toe tapping timid tester of my time and now we're in motostoke don't worry about the wild area since i'm pretty tired of dealing with hop on the train ride i head to the inn and run into some idiots with dual horn vuvuzelas i had to look up that word because i didn't know how to spell it or say it and that's of no concern after some rest, we head to the stadium where the man with noodle hair presents the next boy band. I mean, the gym leaders of Galar. Now, it's time for us to strut our stuff onto the field. As we try to leave the city, we meet Hop, who is once again defeated with ease. Are my levels too high? I don't know. But first, I remember their leftovers in the wild area because I watched a video about it. Then we are back on Route 3 and going through the cave to meet Grandma. Thanks to Grandma's smugness and eagerness to leave us alone in the cave, we defeat her with a few attacks. Also, am I the only one who thought Bede was a Grandma whenever the game first came out and didn't realize till way too late in the game that it wasn't a Grandma? As we come into Turffield, well, Turffield wrong, that's fun. We see some landscapes with Sonya and we head into the gym to do some challenge that my dog was bred for. She's a cattle dog, by the way. I'll have a picture on her on screen just for fun. So after a simple task, we take on Milo and lose to one max overgrow. And then we come back with U-turn and die to a second max overgrow. And on attempts three and four, don't fare much better. After training to 30, we we're able to take down the Elder Gloss and get our first badge for the from the Fertilizer Felix. Man, I really try hard on these. As we leave Turfield, we are stopped by the Vuvuzela boys and... And that's boys with a Z, just so you know. And now we have the bike. Wow, it was really necessary to put boys with a Z. I, I wrote this script like two or three weeks ago, and I'm just now re-looking at it, and I really tried too hard on this script. And here comes our pointy-haired rival, whom we beat again with ease and make it to Holberry. I think I said that right. The city I had to look up to remember its name. After some talks with Noodle Hair and Nessa, we head into the Island Trial, I mean Gym Challenge, my bad. We complete the challenge and begin the fight with Nessa, where we take out the Goldeen and Ericuda, each with two Swifts to bring out her Dreadnought. We trade a few max moves back and forth, but in the end, we take down the Turtle and earn Gym Badge number two. Olga then brings us to lunch with Noodle Head, which I didn't feel was important. But now we are in the mine with Grandma, and thanks to U-Turn and Sucker Punch, Grandma leaves us in the cave again. It's okay because we meet Uncle Kaku here. I then tried to rest again, only to be pushed into another fight we won with ease. Now it's time for challenge number three, which was a bit harder than I remember, but we sealed the deal and got to fight Uncle Kabu. The Ninetales burned us turn one, which wasn't very effective. So we take it down, then Dynamax to set up the rain and finish off Scented Scorch with one shot. We take Uncle Kabu's badge and get a science lesson from Noodlehead. But wait! Leon wants to pat me on the head and say good job. I decided it was time to get some style, but 
but I kept on the stupid hat because I didn't realize you could take it off. Sonia and I go on a quick date, and then we are off again to battle the Vuvuzela boys, where Hop lets us down and forces us to grind to beat the Lipard. After a short jaunt through Route 6, we make it to Stoneside and straight into the gym where we meet the heroin beat who we proceed to crush because we are the villain of the story and not without being forced to try a second time we receive our prize from the heroin and that makes four badges during another date with sonia we run into grandma destroying precious art so we had to crush her as the authorities take grandma away the good lady sonia is almost crushed by art only for her to have an epiphany and rethink her life now we make it to Bologna, where we go straight to the gym again because that is the point of the video, but I lose to a trainer in her gym because I can't answer questions correctly. After a bit of training and answering the questions right, we came to meet Super Granny Opal, who I thought I could beat, but her team was too much for me. On attempt two, I answered the questions correctly and took her down for gym badge number five. As we continue our journey, we meet Hop again, who takes us down with his first Pokemon. I forgot to record the last battle with Hop, but it took quite a bit of training because of that Trevenant. Which leads us into Sir Chester, where we go right into the most forgettable gym leader. I literally don't remember him and I recorded this video. We proceed to one-shot his whole team and get the next badge. Then Sonya finds some more art and celebrates. After a rather short battle with Hop, we have to stop and grind again. I finally take off the hat, change my hair color and eye color to match my own a little bit better. I then stop the Vuvuzela boys from harassing the doctor and get floaties on my bike. As I try to go into Spike Myth, I am halted by Marnie who does halt us for a bit until we beat her with the power of dirty water. I then had to catch a Magikarp since this gym forces you to have two Pokemon. We try our luck against the Zebra Octopus and take some heavy hits, but we come back and take down his squid brethren along with a long tongue zebra, but we lose to his gun tank and have to retry, but this time we succeed and take the seventh badge. We then watch Leon run through a tunnel, and then instantly someone has published an article about what just happened 30 seconds ago. And now we are in the last gym, still accompanied by our trusty Magikarp, we take this skyscraper out without a second thought and earn our last badge. We then meet the improved Professor Sonia and take a train towards Winden. We respect the scenery for a few seconds and then we head into our first match where we destroy Marnie. Immediately following, we fight Hop and win with ease. We then play hide and seek with some henchmen before going to Rose Tower where the crazed Olga overpowers us with her Milotic. We do a bit of grinding and come back and clean off all her toys. Get it? Because Garboder's like just a pile of sludge with toys in him. We then walk in on Leon and Noodlehead having a moment before excusing ourselves. Now we are in the home stretch and we start with beating down Grandma and having her run away one last time. Then it's the model's turn and we blow her away. Next, we take down the Machamp girl, and finally, we fight the last challenger, Rayhan, and take him down just as fast. Just before our last battle, Noodlehead sends a beam into the sky to draw in all the bugs, just like Wreck-It Ralph. In order to stop Noodlehead, we go pick up a rusted sword and meet him in battle, where we defeat his floppy nose sidekick. After we watch Leon fail, we step in to fight the terrible monster Eternatus. After a few attempts, we take down Eternatus, and he rockets into the sky to become Master Hand as the doggos hatch from their rock, and we use our weapons to, to give them power, but not enough power because I lose this fight once and have to come back and win it for the whole world. At last, it's time for the final battle, where I am swept by a Rillaboom. After many different strategies and failed attempts with different items, I decide to use a workup protect strategy where I abuse Age Slash's need to use King Shield and max myself out, which was necessary, and I proceed to one shot his whole team. I tried plus five, but it didn't work, so I did plus six. Now, it's time for me to thank anyone who made it to the end of this video. I know this wasn't perfect, but I'm proud of it.
I put in a lot of hours to make this video. Let me know what your favorite part was, and if you want to see another video like this, but until then, see you next time.